Welcome back. We're still on the main page of the Dobble template. So basically what we have is we have the wall input here and then the comments area, uh, well the post and then the comments area. Um, I'm going to add one more comment to this post. Okay, so I'm just going to copy. Actually, we want the clear fix as well. And I'm going to paste that right underneath this one. Okay, so that should just give us two comments. Now this image is going to bother me, so I'm just going to add the CSS to make that smaller. Okay, so uh, let's see, comment, avatar, image. I'm going to set the width of it to 40 pixels and give it a margin right of five pixels. All right, and you can see it's still not formatted. Um, we're gonna do that afterwards. I just wanted to get rid of that big image. All right, so we have a post with two comments. Now we just wanna add a couple more posts. So basically we can uh, copy from this so each post is going to be is going to have its own panel all right so we want this whole div so there to there okay and then we're just going to post that in and then another one we'll just have three posts uh, and we can just change some of the content around just so it looks So that's the first one. This is the second one. We'll change it to dev user two. We'll take out a few words. Uh, we can take one of the comments away. Okay, and then the third comment, dev user three. And take a look, cut some of the text away. And let's see, we can change the number of likes. Um, that should do it. So if we save it, reload, now we have three posts. All right, I think that's all we need in the main area. Now obviously we haven't added the CSS so it doesn't look like this yet, but it will. Uh, but before we do that, I just wanna add the sidebar stuff. So we have the friends area and then we have the latest groups okay so the sidebar is in this four column div and this is going to each um, sidebar module is going to be a panel as well so let's go and grab the panel text or the panel code We want the one with the heading. I'm gonna grab this one here. And paste that in. Okay, so the panel title, actually I'm just gonna to add to this class, friends. And then change this to my friends. And inside of the panel body, we're gonna have an unordered list with list items. And each list item is gonna be a link. And we're gonna have, oops, class thumbnail. And we'll just have it go to profile.html. Okay, and it's going to be the user image. Okay, so I'm going to copy this and just paste a bunch of them. Okay, we'll save and it's probably gonna look horrible. 
Okay, so basically we have the, the full size image. We need to scale those down, get rid of these bullets. So let's go to the CSS. And we're going to say friends, oops, friends li. Okay, we want to get rid of the bullets. And let's see, let's do a padding of five pixels. And we want to display inline and also uh, float float left. And for the image, for the image, we're going to set the width to 55 pixels. Okay, so there's our friends module. And we just want a link below it saying um, view all friends. So under the unordered list, I'm going to put a clear fix just because all the images are floating. And you want to clear that, or they'll clear the float. And then just a link, we'll say class, whoops. Class equals BTN, BTN primary. Say view all friends. And we need a link going nowhere. All right. Next, we'll have the groups on the sidebar, which will also be a panel. So I'm going to grab that code again. And it's going to go after. It's going to go after the this div, which ends here. Okay, so we're just going to add a class of groups here and change the title to uh, latest groups. And the panel content is basically just going to be um, a couple divs with the group info. So we want div class and then we'll call it group item. Whoops. Okay, and in the item we're going to have the image. And we'll have an H4. And that's going to uh, it's going to have a link And then the text, which will be sample group one. And then we're just going to have a, a paragraph of intro text or whatever you want to call it. Sample group. This is a double social network sample group. Okay, and then we're just going to copy the group item two more times. And then at the bottom, we're going to have a link. So I'm going to just copy this here because we're going to do the same thing. Except we'll say view all groups. And that should do it. So let's save that. Okay. Now the groups, we need to add the CSS to make these images smaller. Uh, but before we do that, we just want to add the footer. So the footer is extremely simple. We're going to go under the section. Basically using the same footer in all our projects. It's going to have a container. Same markup anyway, maybe not the same look. OK. 
Okay. So footer, all right, so we have the markup for the, the main page complete. Now we need to do the CSS. The header, nav bar, wall post, these are all finished. Uh, but we need we have a few things to do here. Uh, one is going to be the bubble. Okay, we want this to look like kind of like a chat bubble. Um, so we have quite a bit of CSS to do there. I'm going to go right here. All right, so we're going to have a position relative. Uh, the width is going to be 580. And the minimum height 